I studied art in undergraduate, but I think that I, I was quite shy. I didn't have a sense that I could make my way in the world as an artist. And also, I didn't have a strong sense of having something to say. And I decided I wanted to develop my analytical side and became a management consultant and got an MBA. It's a culture that tells you that um, if you're not a strong linear thinker, that you are flaky. Through school, I, the teachers always said, uh, Susie's always looking out the window. She's such a daydreamer. And then she thought maybe I had a problem. There's a nice quote, we're a culture that values thinking but not feeling, doing but not being, and uh, achieving but not experiencing. And I, as a daughter of this culture, I was more involved in pushing and getting things done. But uh, after a while, there was something, I suppose, that wasn't feeding me. Picking the paintbrush up was to capture the light on the leaves that I remember that and it was a, sort of a big moment um, picking the paintbrush up again before I would do the painting I would ask to feel life energy or some sort of wisdom more in my body to feel it more clearly to hear it more clearly um, <clears throat> and have the courage to follow that rather than uh, always trying to control with my head then I went away to Vermont and it was May and uh, I um, experienced uh, incredible life energy, a very, very lusty feeling. The earth was fecund and the plants were all growing. And it was a, a kind of sexual feeling, which I was rather shocked at and uh, went, no, not this. But then I realized, in fact, that is what I'd asked for, to be connected to life is to acknowledge feeling all these incredible intense uh, and sometimes sexual feelings. Our culture has split off sexuality and creativity and spirituality. My body is a, it is a, a sacred vehicle. It's, it's not something that gets the head from the house to the car, you know, and it's a container for the life energy and, uh, and I, it's been a whole process to learn to respect that and that that is what spiritual is, you know, respecting the body and honoring it. I think that laughter and prayer are the same thing, because you know, you know how you make the goddess laugh, right? You tell her your plans. <laughs> um, I'm a very, very spiritual person, but deep down I'm very shallow, that's a problem. <laughs> okay, how do I define spirituality? Um, I think spirituality for me is just experiencing what's going on in this body and that's hard that's hard enough just sort of feeling what's going on on many levels it's not being transcendent it's not uh, something up there or out there it's very much in the earth in the matter and, and being connected with that Painting, sometimes images come up, characters, and I'll talk to them, and they'll write to me, and they'll tell me off sometimes, and, and give me a, a sense of direction as well. Uh, honoring the images that come off. We, we say, oh, it's just the imagination, but I think the imagination is us. It's our inner world, and that's what gives life. It's color, and it's meaning, and it's excitement, and it means honoring play, and doodling, and drawing, and, and fun. I'm learning through the process of going inward and doing my art making that um, there's another place to come out of that is uh, where strength isn't out of pushing and controlling uh, and making things happen and willing things, but um, it's about being vulnerable and strong at the same time. Uh, being aware of one's own frailty and perhaps one's own pain. Um, aware of all the different parts of oneself and it's a, a softer place to come out of but very hard to get to sometimes when we're all in our heads and I really had to learn not to feel guilty uh, taking time off not working at a job um, and it was a real struggle to uh, believe that 
waking up feeling great and going out and painting was uh, something that was uh, a gift to the world and that this feeling of being alive or, or feeling even the pain and, and articulating that would actually be something worthwhile rather than getting a job.